Uh, so today we've had uh, two novice horses, um, Clara M, uh, who was doing her first event with me in the Open Novice, and um, a six-year-old called Gambizi, who was uh, doing the novice class here as well. Yeah, they were all really, they were both really good, um, both jumped around really nicely, made the cross-country feel easy, um, lots to work on with them, and that's kind of the... the the sort of aim really to find out a little bit more about Clara who I've not been riding very long and um, to educate Gambizi and, and bring him on a little bit with the with the future in mind so it's more about the education and the learning than the than the winning really. Um, Art's really well. He had to be brought in from the field the other day because he was running around next to a five-year-old and, and misbehaving so um, He's he's really good. He feels fresh and happy and really well. And um, he's definitely enjoyed his time at badminton and seems to have come out of it really well. It's it's pretty it's pretty much sort of you keep going. Um, it's interesting after after you know badminton was uh, was a real sort of um, roller coaster of 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 highs and lows. And um, you we did all come home. I think all the team felt slightly. Um, you know, whoa, that was a that was a big week, um, and you you know a little bit tired the next day and a bit jaded, but you you get straight on with it. And uh, there are horses at home that need riding, and and uh, you get on with it really. W without a doubt, I enjoyed watching uh, Tom McEwen and Toledo Toledo de Cursa. Um, um, Tom was it, it was quite amusing in the collecting ring because he was moaning at me they hadn't gone fast enough and and so on, but. The horse, he's educated it so beautifully, it jumps so beautifully and it looks confident and happy at the level and um, he he has to be a huge combination for Great Britain moving forward. So uh, he definitely stood out and, you know, you look at Michael Young and, and the incredible Sam and, um, you know, how at 17 um, he, he just produces it time and time again. I, I think his record is something ridiculous. I think he's only been first and second in international events in in his career, which is quite amazing. Um, it, it's really it's a really hard moment because you watch. We all love Ingrid to bits, and and everybody would have probably been quite happy with Ingrid winning and and delighted if Ingrid had won. Um, but when she had the the first pole, she had down. Um, the 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 moment dawns you know the realization dawns on you that that Andrew has won um a group of us including Zach his son we just sprinted round the back um to you know town end um and and myself and and Leonard Gorans and you know Leonard worked for Andrew I worked for Andrew and and just you know it means so so much um and it was a, a very very emotional few minutes After this weekend, we've got uh, one horse at Rockingham uh, next week, and um, then we've got horses at Pontespool, and um, then we've got a couple going to Tattersalls, and uh, and it goes on. Yeah, without a doubt, it's great fun tats, and they've done a lot of work uh, this year. They've um, they've worked on the ground conditions, and they've changed the courses round, um, with Ian Stark at the at the helm again, designing the courses. So. It's great because you, um, it's a great venue and um, the hosp hospitality is fantastic. And when you know you've got somebody like Ian designing the courses, it, it just, you know, it gives you a real buzz going there because you know you'll get a great event. So it'll be good fun. Fantastic. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to talk to you.